Multi-tenant is closely integrated with Oracle Real Application Clusters, also known as RAC. RAC, of course, is an architecture that provides great scalability, as well as great availability, the theme of this series. In this video, we'll see both of these benefits. Let's start by setting up a basic two-node RAC cluster for a single CDB. There is a single database instance per node in the cluster, and of course storage is shared between the nodes. Now let's think about the PDBs in this CDB. Here we see PDBs 1, 2, 3 and 4. We begin by discussing the topic of affinity. In other words, in which node or nodes of the cluster is each of these PDBs open? Technically, the affinity of a PDB to a database instance in the RAC cluster is defined by opening the services of the PDB in that instance. What about the other nodes? Basically, each PDB is visible in every node of the cluster. However, in nodes in which it is not open, it will be seen in mounted state, which is about as closed as you can get. And with this configuration, we've got a pretty nicely balanced cluster. The resource meters on the right here show a comfortable load on each node. So far, so good. But now, let's add a couple more PDBs to the cluster. We'll open PDB5 in node 1 and PDB6 in node 2. Now our cluster is beginning to look a little overburdened, with both resource meters now in the red zone. To address this problem, we'll expand the cluster by adding an additional node running a third instance, instance 3. Now we can do some load balancing by redistributing the PDBs across the newly expanded cluster. This is a nice, simple process. In fact, it can be done either by using serveCTL or via SQL, using an alter pluggable database relocate command. And the result is that once more we see a nicely balanced load across our cluster. So far, we've seen what is described as singleton affinity. In other words, each PDB is open only in a single instance and present only in mounted state in other nodes. It's also possible for a PDB to be open in more than one node or even all nodes. For example, as we see here, PDB7 is open on all nodes and PDB8 is open in nodes 1 and 2. In general, however, singleton affinity is a very good model to follow, as we shall now see. The tight integration of multi-tenant with RAC includes a capability known as a per-PDB lock domain. This provides strong isolation of a PDB's data and locks to the node or nodes in which it's open. So, as is shown here, with PDBs 1 and 2 affinitized to node 1, PDBs 3 and 4 to node 2, 5 and 6 to node 3, and 7 and 8 to node 4, we know, for example, that only the SGA of node 1 has any data or locks to do with PDBs 1 and 2. Therefore, we know that in the event of a node failure, cache fusion need not consider any data or locks for PDBs not open in that node. The benefit is twofold. The affected PDBs recover faster on the surviving node, and the brownout experienced in other PDBs in surviving nodes is significantly shorter. To illustrate the high availability characteristics of a CDB cluster, let's see what happens when one of the cluster nodes fails. Here we see a four-node cluster and 12 PDBs distributed across the cluster with singleton affinity. With admin managed services, this primary affinity would be defined by specifying the PDB as preferred in the node with which it has affinity, designated here with a P. The A's designate a node in which a PDB is marked as available. This is the node to which the PDB will fail over in the event of a failure of its preferred node. For instance, PDBs 1, 2, and 3 each have preferred affinity for instance 1. To spread the burden of a potential node failure across the cluster, each of these PDBs is marked available in a different node. 
PDB1 in instance 2, PDB2 in instance 3, and PDB3 in instance 4. The M represents the mounted state of each of these PDBs in the other instances. What happens when instance 1 fails? Each PDB that was open on the failed node fails over to the designated surviving node. In this video, we've seen the close integration between multi-tenant and rack. We've seen how a PDB's affinity to a node in the cluster is defined by opening its services there. We can elastically adjust to changing workloads simply by changing the affinity of PDBs for load balancing purposes. Most relevant to our theme of high availability, we've seen how effectively the surviving nodes of a cluster can absorb the additional burden in the event of a node failure, with per PDB lock domains minimizing both the outage in the affected PDBs and the brownout experienced in the surviving nodes.